Welcome to Zero to Pro Training.com. Presented by Hassan Mir. Our topic today is Web Search Process. In contrast to a traditional document collections, for example, a library, in World Wide Web there is no central collection and categorization. Traditional document collections live in physical warehouses, such as the college's library, where they are categorized and filed. In contrast, the web document collection lives in a cyber warehouse. Cyber warehouse is a virtual entity. It is not limited by geographical constraints. And it can grow without limit. This geographic freedom comes with a side effect. Search engines must do the data collection tasks on their own. And hence a crawler module. Crawler is a software that collects web documents. The crawling software creates virtual robots, called spiders. Spiders that constantly scour the web, gathering new information and web pages. The spiders return with new web pages. The page are temporarily stored as full complete web pages in the page repository. Periodically web pages are sent from page repository to the indexing module. Their vital information is stripped off to create a compressed version of the page. Processed pages are removed from the page repository once moved to the indexing module. The indexes hold the valuable compressed information for each web page. For example, keyword, title, and anchor text for each web page are stored in a compressed form. And short indexes could quickly tell you which web pages should appear in the result when a search is performed against particular keywords. Web search indexes are very similar in concept to the index you see at the end of the book that lets you go to the book page based on the topic you are looking for. The four modules we have talked about namely crawler, page repository, indexers, and indexes operate independent of users and their queries. These are query independent modules. In other words, spiders are constantly crawling the web, bringing back new and updated pages to be indexed and stored, irrespective of users performing queries. Now we will talk about the modules that are in play in order to server queries performed by users. The query module is initiated when a user enters a query. A search engine must respond to the query in real time. The query module converts users' natural language query into a language that the search system can understand. The module consults indexes in order to answer the query. For example, the query module consults the index to find which pages use the query terms. These pages are called the relevant pages. Then the query module passes over the set of relevant pages to the ranking module. The ranking module takes the set of relevant pages and ranks them according to some criterion. The outcome is an ordered list of web pages. The pages near the top of the list are most likely to be what the user desires. The ranking module is the most important component of the search process. The output of the query module often results in too many relevant pages that the user must sort through. These are in hundreds and thousands. The ordered list filters the less relevant pages to the bottom, making the list of pages more manageable for the user. Many rules are used to give each relevant page a relevancy or content score. Indexes are consulted in the process as well. The set of relevant pages resulting from the query module is then presented to the user in order of their overall scores.